Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Just here with a quick video to talk about the 1.4 update for Machine Plus, specifically um, them addressing the audio and some CPU issues. I will say that for me overall, Machine Plus has been much more stable with this update. I don't have to go in and do the whole, you know, when you go into the settings and adjust the audio device so that you get rid of the crackling. I haven't had to do that. I noticed some of my older projects that would peg the cpu and i'll have issues and they they could barely play those play fine now then also i can load up more kits at once without having to go in and remove stuff from the kits so um before i would probably get to maybe three or four you know three or four kits depending on which expansion i'm using you know depending on what type of effects and stuff on there before the cpu was done and now i've noticed that i can especially with the older kits you know that have a lot more effects on them that aren't really optimized for machine plus i can load up you know, a few more of those without having any issues. So let's just try to load up some of these uh, joints. I know um, Cray is Earth. Let's try to load up a few. So that's about three and we're at around 64. Usually right around here, I, it would start. It would just be a no go for me. So usually for me, I'd have trouble even playing that fourth kit. And I'm not going to say, you know, I'm used to kind of the way I work with it now. I just, when I load up kits, I get rid of the stuff I'm not using, but I notice myself having to do that less depending on what I'm working on. Uh, let's see if I can go. So I definitely wouldn't, I wasn't able to do this before. Um, and then, like I said, for me, just loading up a bunch of my old projects, they seem to play really fine. Like, actually, I have one project that I made when I first got this just to test the CPU that would always peg the CPU. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can remember the name of it. And try to play it for you. Um, and this this project is specifically kind of like a CPU test for me. Um, just every time they do updates, I test this project because this joint would not play. We um, really would not play on a lot of the joints. So when you can see it's just three, three kits, but. Like just these three kits. Um, and you can see I even went in and tried to get rid of some of the pads and stuff like that. But this this kit right here would hit right around 100 percent this project. And so loading this up. It's, it's right around 60 now. So after removing some of the pads and stuff, I would say I would hit around, oh, maybe 80, 85. With all the pads full, it would be full joint. But yeah, it seems to be working fine. So yeah, I mean, just some different kits. Let me see if I can see another one that I usually load up. Uh, I think this is one I used to try to load. So all of them, like I said, I haven't been running into any CPU issues. And for me, that's, that's a huge thing because that's something that always kind of put me off. So I would say just looking at these, the CPU on some of these projects, um, I'm seeing about 15, somewhere between 15 to 20 or 22 percent less CPU on just my projects. And just because I know these projects and these are ones that I always test when I update, uh, I know this one was sitting around 64, 65, and now it's like 40, 45. So I'm not saying that's going to happen for everybody, but for me, um, it's definitely been, I've definitely just seen some improvement with the CPU. You know, and just the even I would have situations where my audio loops would start getting out of sync at times and different stuff like that. And I, I feel like that was due to CPU and I haven't been running into that as as well. So, yeah, just wanted to kind of share my thoughts on 1.4 and kind of some of the stuff I'm seeing. <laughs> Yeah.
good, man. I mean, it's it's been working. It's been working pretty good for me. So I personally am happy with the update. Um, specifically the CPU and audio issues that they fix. I'm not saying it's it's all the way, you know, fixed. I'm sure you'll probably still run into some stuff. I'm sure I still can't load up like eight or 16 full kits or, you know, anything like that. But I can definitely load up full kits way more than I can be. I could before. I don't have to think about, you know, what's loaded in the kit as much or as soon. And a lot of my projects that used to hit the CPU and cause issues and crackling and all that stuff um, seems to be fixed. So, uh, like I said, for me, these are the updates that I like to see the stability and the audio and the CPU and stuff like that. It makes it much more fun to actually use this, you know, as a standalone product, which is my preference. So. So yeah, I can't, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, for me, CPU has been improved, audio, you know, performance has been improved, being able to load multiple kits, you know, into the groups has been improved for me. I can definitely load more kits than I used to be able to. So just wanted to share my thoughts on that and, you know, just share my experience. Like I said, I have a bunch of different projects that I always try to load every time um, they would release an update just to see what type of cpu improvements they've made and i will say this one by far has been the best in terms of stability cpu and stuff like that so um, if you haven't updated definitely i suggest you know installing 1.4 on your machine plus it is definitely much more stable um, but i'd love to hear your thoughts if you're running into you know different results if you're still having those same type of issues um or you know what your what your stability is looking like but uh, for me and the things that I usually test and try to test with each update, this one has been the best so far. Um, and for me, it makes it just, it makes it more usable, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, running into those CPU issues and audio getting out of sync and different stuff like that when it comes to the CPU and the audio just made it, made this something that I would just use as a sound module. But now that it's actually, they're actually working on the stability, I find myself using it a lot more, you know, just as a standalone sequencer, or sampler, or stuff like this. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. Again, this is St. Joe, machinetutorials.com. I'll see y'all later, man. Peace.